As the poem goes, in 1492 Columbus sailed the ocean blue and opened Europe to the idea of a world that was round and introduced the continent that became known as the New World. Ironically, some 500 years later with Thomas Friedman's book, The World is Flat, we are discovering that we are able to communicate across the miles and our new world has turned into a virtual one. Which leads us to the virtual pioneers. The virtual pioneer started out as a consortium of social studies educators from around western New York that was interested in meeting and exploring in Second Life, a multi-user virtual environment. Our formula was simple. Meet every other Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and discuss social studies issues and take a tour of several history-based landmarks. These explorations were a great way to meet in the comfort of our own homes, explore history topics, and then discuss and share as time permitted. As we met, our members began to ex expand, and quite unexpectedly through Second Life, we now have members from Iowa, Australia, Italy, and our latest members from Bahrain and Qatar. The exchange of not only ideas, but of culture has enriched our experience like no other setting and lends credence to Friedman's World is Flat philosophy. At this time, we have traveled to the Holocaust Museum, an intense museum to be sure, with a reflecting pool at the end to contemplate the magnitude of this unfortunate period in world history. Uma of Nur, an Islamic-based island that we learned about Muslim culture, dress, religion, and architecture. The land of Lincoln that depicts the life of Abraham Lincoln with builds from all aspects of his life, from the schoolhouse to the White House. Virtual Harlem, a recreation of 1920s Harlem including the famed Apollo Theater and the Cotton Club. Babylon, which has an interactive museum look and feel to it. Chateau de Versailles, a French capital replica with helpful tour guides with history facts on hand. Olana Historic Site, a replica of landscape painter Frederick Church's historic home and now museum in upstate New York, guided by its education director. Also, we went to Norma Underwood's professional development space on Edu Island, where she gave us ideas of what a virtual space can offer teachers. And that's only the beginning. We are planning on future tours, simulations, role plays, guest speakers, and creating a building at our headquarters on Lighthouse Learning Island where teachers can get quality social studies as well as other content-based resources to use with their students. We would like you to join our Mary group by going to the virtualpioneersname.com or requesting membership in the Second Life. I hope to hear from all interested members soon.